Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial video. Today I'm going to show you how I made Loki's daggers uh, for a Loki cosplay. It will specifically be for a more custom design, but it's based off the actual daggers he had from the TV show and in the movie. So let's go ahead and just jump right on into it. <laughs> So to start, I am like cutting as I draw because I was tracing my template with a black Sharpie onto black EVA foam. Yeah, it doesn't work well. Just so I didn't lose where my lines were, I kind of alternate between trace, cut, trace, cut. But you can see here, it is my own template again. Um, I'm hoping to have this available in my coffee shop at some point down the line. Um, link for that is in the description below. And all I'm doing right now is I'm tracing onto 10 millimeter EVA foam. Um, I need a total of two physical daggers and each dagger is two layers of 10 millimeter. So I cut the blade portion about four times and the handle four times total. I'm cutting with a box cutter because you know, it's pretty straight lines and then it's thick foam, very thick. So yeah. You can also see I used the first blade piece to trace instead of the template for the rest of them. It's because I wanted to make sure in case any of my cuts were weird it would still match with the original piece I guess was kind of my thinking in case it didn't match with the paper for some reason because I cut weird. You never know. Anyways. Now I'm taking my contact cement and applying it to both sides um, for each dagger. Um, so yeah, it goes on both sides, and then you wait for it to get dry, and then you smoosh them together. And I'm starting by just doing the two handle pieces together, another two handle pieces together, two blade pieces together, and another two blade pieces together. I didn't glue them together. I wanted to Dremel first. Um, so basically, I take it with the Dremel, and I'm going to sand it all out, round out the handle, um, smooth out all my seams, add some detailing, and also uh, give the blade like an actual point kind of a thing but not too pointed because I want to take this like places for photos and conventions so like it can't look like I can actually stab someone you know for obvious reasons so sanded it all out and then we'll get to gluing it together so because I also wanted to make sure that the little uh nook that will attach is all right and that there won't be like a huge gap so I, I sanded it to make sure it fit together correctly um, so that's why we're only gluing the handles and the knives together first, and then we go and use the Dremel. Post Dremel, we're using that quick seal adhesive cock just to touch up some of the seams that might not be holding together still very quickly. Now that all the seams are fixed, we're taking some contact cement and putting it on the end of the handles to attach it to the blade finally since it's been sanded so it should fit perfectly there shouldn't be a gap there are gap fillers out there you can also use like plastic wood wood putty but i just i was a perfectionist i guess i don't know so now i'm using my wood burning iron to actually draw in some of the detailing on the blade and a little bit at the bottom as well since there's like some floral detailing that i wanted to make sure was more prominent that i missed with the dremel you can also do this technically with like a soldering iron as well. Ugh, soldering iron as well. Now I'm just taking some foam clay and I'm rolling it out into like a long strip. Um, and I'm going to wrap two pieces around the top portion of the blade handle on each blade. Um, I kind of roll out one long strip so that way it's perfectly the same size across the board and I don't have to worry about like matching it up one by one. Foam clay just sticks on with water and you can smooth out the seam with water as well. And then I primed it with plastic dip outside. Now we're on to painting. For the blade I'm using um, a like pale metallic silver um, is what I went with because it's kind of a very light color scheme. Um, and then I wanted like a champagne gold for the handle so what I did was I took an antique gold and that exact pale silver that I used for the blade and I blended them together um, and it came out really good. I am hand painting these. These are just with like regular acrylic paints. Um, you'll also see on the blade I'm using a little bit of rub and buff just to give it some depth and have it be a little bit more two-toned and metal looking um, instead of just kind of flat and one-toned. 
Oh, I also did need to use two coats of paint for everything just because, again, it's a very light color and I also did it on like white Plasti dip, so you know that just helps keep it very light in color um, than if I use like a darker color primer. But yeah, so two coats for this. You can also use three if you want it to be a little bit darker. And then the final step, of course, is to seal all of that well painted work. Um, I use the Liquitex Satin Varnish Spray Sealer. Um, it's like a clear and it gives it a nice glossy look. Um, so it's nice and shiny. There is also a matte version if you're ever making anything in matte that I really like. But yeah, that's pretty much how I make it. And you can see the finished product over on my website with the full cosplay on my other pages. Thanks so much for watching this cosplay crafting tutorial. Sorry if it was a bit of a mess. Uh, if you want to see what we made actually with the finished cosplay, make sure to check the links in my description and let me know what your crafting questions are in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe so you can see what I'm crafting up next. Bye-bye!